All right, let's go ahead and check in with Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell. And Marcus, you just had a beautiful, healthy baby boy born. And your wife, Cassie, she's the sweetest. I met her several different times. So I first just want to say happy Mother's Day to her. Yes, Kara, thank you so much. It's been great to be able to be at home with him the last few days. And we wanted to show you a few other pictures. First of all, of her, she's the, been the one that's really been going through a lot with all of this. And she's doing a great job. So a great picture of her. That was him uh, taken just a few days ago. Here's a couple of other pictures, a closer shot of him there. He is certainly very handsome. A lot of hair, too. Oh, my goodness. He has a ton of hair, but he's very peaceful, very calm, very relaxing. And one of the other things that we're transitioning with is with Anaya, our oldest daughter. She's two years old, so she's transitioning very well. She's starting to love on the baby a little bit more at first a little resistant, but now she's really coming along very nicely. So great pictures of our little man Marcus the third. He certainly is continuing to grow. We've had great weather for today. The better day of the weekend is actually on its way for tomorrow. We had clouds over our area today, especially down in deep east Texas, really at times dimming that sunshine, making an impact on our temperatures, but it did lead to a very nice sunset. You'll notice here from the top of the Fredonia Hotel, this is downtown Nacogdoches from earlier this evening. Notice how those high clouds continue to push off to the east and that sun beginning to set. It has gave us a mainly clear sky for tonight. Here were the high temperatures this afternoon lower 70s, even a couple of upper 60s, especially over deep east Texas. But now we're beginning to cool down as we have a mostly clear sky. We already have temperatures in the low 50s. You notice Mineola 54, 55 Nacogdoches and Henderson, 57 the temperature in Longview. We are headed to the 40s tomorrow morning for nearly all of the area. Some of us could be down to about 45 to 46 in our eastern area. So if you're getting out first thing in the morning, you might want to have a sweater or even a light jacket, but we have a great day up ahead for mom for tomorrow. Here's the forecast 9 a.m. 63 by noon 72 and 5 o'clock 77. Our wind speeds will be lighter for tomorrow afternoon, but we are tracking a cold front that's going to move in during the day. No big problems with that front. Just a few clouds, not expecting any precipitation, just reinforcing the dry air that's already in play. Changes though will begin to come in as early as Monday. We'll start to see increasing clouds, but we should stay dry on Monday. But here comes Tuesday, an approaching front off to our northwest, and we'll see some scattered showers and thunderstorms begin to pick up. Best chances for rain will probably be on Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. There's enough instability in the atmosphere for storms right now. It does not look to be a severe threat, but we'll keep you up to date on that. So 77 tomorrow afternoon, Monday 78 degrees. Come Tuesday 40% storm chance as we warm up into the lower 80s. It will be very muggy after Monday and look at the temperatures by the latter part of the week middle and even some upper 80s. Now storm chances pick back up again next Friday and Saturday. That could pose a severe threat, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. Here's deep east Texas. Great weather for you after the chilly start in the morning, but we will see more clouds build in Monday. First chance of storms Tuesday, but maybe a better chance coming in by the end of the week. So after this cooler weather that we've seen, Kara, get ready. That humidity is about to turn up a lot more as we move into this new week. Well, as long as tomorrow is beautiful, which it is that's all that really matters right now. Thank you, Marcus.